I was about 16 weeks pregnant. Um, we were seeing a professor over here in Melbourne and he sat down and, and after many scans and many appointments, just very quietly said the words, your baby has hyperplastic left heart syndrome. It's not compatible with life. And it was one of those statements that just stays in your mind and you'll never forget. The choices we were given at the time of diagnosis were to either continue on with the pregnancy and uh, go down a route of having three operations for James. The other option was to terminate the pregnancy early on and the third option was to go ahead with the pregnancy but do nothing and then just it would be palliative care for a few days afterwards. And then he came out and I got one quick cuddle one quick photograph and then he was taken away um, at the time of James's surgery. One in three babies weren't making it. It's probably about 10,000 children each year we see through our outpatient clinics. And maybe a thousand of those children will need an operation of some sort. It was a crash course in cardiology for us. We had to learn and understand what it involved, what were the potential outcomes. And it was just, it was huge. It was such a stressful time. You know, people can't make that decision for you. Long-term outcomes for James, well, they're unknown. Um, we hope, obviously, that research and technology catches up with where he is and that he's fortunate enough to be born at a time where new developments are occurring and that by the time he needs them, they'll be available. You know, there's a lot coming on the market that are in the early stages and James has yet to have his last surgery, which he'll probably have in the next six months' time. We feel very fortunate to have Michael Chung as our cardiologist for James. He's quite high up in the Murdoch Children's Institute in terms of research. The kindness of strangers is extraordinary and yet again we see that with the campaign through Big W and the Murdoch Children's. The fact that they're getting behind such a worthy cause is just absolutely fantastic and you know anything we can do to support that we will. Uh, James has been involved as poster boy for their shoot and I've been involved in writing uh, the story of James and I and our journey and you know it's amazing, it's just brilliant and people, they really get behind it, the staff are all behind it right the way up you know to the top and it's just amazing it's the kind of thing that we need to see more of and it just makes all the difference he's a beautiful little boy he's engaging and full of life and spirit and you know it's an absolute blessing to have him in our life so you know let, let that continue as long as, as it can it's, it's just beautiful in terms of direct clinical care, all of the research that we do, I think, benefits all of the children in Australia. At the same time, because we have links with um, all of the sites around Australia and overseas, I think the research that we do benefits all children with cardiac problems. The support of Big W is incredibly important. Not only do you provide essential funding for our research, but you also spread the word in the community about the work that we do. We pride on our, ourselves on being uh, able to keep up with all the current research, but we also are keen to generate some research of our own. So I think it's the only way in which we can improve the, the quality of care that we provide and also our un understanding of uh, heart conditions. In Victoria, we decided to support the Murdoch Children's Institute because of the fantastic work that is completed there and also the awareness and, and understanding, and as we did initially, a little bit of ignorance as to what it was all about. But when you understand the actual work that is completed there and you understand the numbers and the amount of children that are infected with uh, heart disease, it's really quite alarming. So that was a, a really great place for us to start in terms of what we could offer and what we can contribute to some seed funding. As a company becomes bigger, the responsibility to give back to the communities in which they operate, the communities give us so much in terms of supporting our businesses and um, enabling us to grow. Very important as a large organisation to give back to those communities and make certain that we don't forget where we come from and we start sponsoring and looking after the communities in which we work. When you go to them and the, we disclose the cause, what's the cause behind it, they're happy to give money. I really enjoy the meeting of the people and the having 80% 
positive response from the customers. Every day I raise about $200 plus dollars when I work over here. Even the managers say, oh, well done, what a good job. The staff really get behind it knowing that it goes to a fantastic cause. Research is very expensive and all donations that we get we use to initiate novel projects to support young talent uh, and really to build our research into something better. Every dollar that we get from donations we expand it so that we earn an extra seven dollars in external research funding. So we're multiplying every donation into great research. The amount of work that goes into fundraising is enormous. I can see the, the sacrifice and the energy that's gone into it. And certainly for us, we wouldn't be able to do the research without that type of support. So thank you very much. Can I just say a personal thank you to Big W and their staff. Um, we are incredibly grateful that they do what they do. And it's my understanding that in the last 10 years, they've raised over a million dollars. That's mind blowing. And that kind of money goes to research and research is where our hopes lie so strongly. It's the reason why our beautiful son is here today running around and you know talking his head off and singing and dancing and performing and being the light of our life and that is why it's Murdoch Children's Big W that works so hard and tirelessly to raise money to support research into what's going to effectively save our son's life.